Cooking up a plan to put the team on. It's a marathon to put the team on. But it kinda sounded like a theme song. What's going on, everybody? We back with another video. It's your man, Director True Vision. Um, if you don't know me, I'm a music video director, full-time entrepreneur, uh, all-around business, man. I love business. I love mentoring people. Um, uh, and basically, what I do is, you know, I just help people elevate their game. I help people, newcomers, start shooting like a pro. Uh, I help people structure a business, the photography business, any type of business that they have. Um, been doing this for 11 years, filmed over 800 music videos, and I just love business, man. I love helping people. Today, we're going to be talking about um, filming flat and what filming flat is. I know you probably, if you're like, if you've been in the, uh, you know, if you've been in the film industry, if you've been recording, you probably heard these terms, you know, filming flat or filming on S log or V log or something like that. I know you probably you probably heard it and didn't know what it was. And if you never heard this, your first time here today. Now I'm going to break it down and explain exactly what that is and what people mean when they say that they're filming flat, they're shooting, they're shooting flat, or they're shooting in uh, V-log, or they're shooting in you know S-log or something like that. All right. So basically, when you're shooting, you never want to shoot in auto. All right. You always want to control everything that your camera is doing. You never want the camera to you know decide and guess what uh, the the settings should be. You know, you don't want the camera to guess what the sun is doing or what type of lighting you're in. You always want to have control on that. So you want to film and shoot on manual, no matter what, all right? Always have shoot on manual. And if you don't know what manual is or how to get the manual, it's that little M right on your camera. If you have a DSLR camera, it's that M that's right on your camera. Shoot on manual all the time. All of your settings should be on manual and you should be in control of uh, all of your settings, all right? So that's very important. A lot of people shoot in auto, and when you're shooting in auto, that's basically the, like I was saying before, the camera is recording and it's deciding, the camera's using its own brain and deciding what type of red that is and what that what type of sunlight is coming in. And you can be filming with some orange light, but the camera could be like, think that, you know, this is more red than what it actually is. So you always wanna, you know, be in control of the, 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 the settings and what the lighting is, you always want to be in control of that. You never want the camera to decide and to guess what that is. All right. So now that we got that out the way, um, basically, when you film in auto, uh, the camera is burning that image into the uh, into the record the recording. So the if you're filming this black shirt, or if you if I had a red shirt on, or anything. The camera is, that red is burnt into that footage. That's how that red is. That's what that camera um, uh, thought that red looked like. All right. But when you film on a V-log setting or S-log setting or a flat setting, or when you go to the custom settings in your camera and you turn down the contrast and the saturation, you turn that down. Now your camera is desaturating and taking out it's not it's taking out some of those colors so it's not as rich. It's not going to look as rich and it's not going to look as vibrant initially because it's taking out all of those colors. But it, it knows it's red, but it's not as bright, vibrant red. It's going to look more washed out and more gray, okay? But that's the key. That's the secret sauce right there. You want to desaturate that. You want to take out all of that in camera. Every camera has the settings. Every camera is able to do this, all right? So you wanna take that, uh, desaturate that, go to your settings, go on that, and it's gonna look gray, it's gonna look washed out. What's that doing is your the camera is not burning that color into the, uh, into the memory. You know, that red is not burnt in like that bright red, vibrant red, all right? So now, once you did that, now it's looking all gray and looking washed out. Now you take that footage and the magic start happening. You take that footage and you go to the editor room. And now when you go to enhance those reds, you have full control 
on how you want those ribs to look. It's like mind blowing. It's literally mind blowing once you see it. You're really able to bring all of the colors back and you're able to bring the cup. Not only are you able to bring them back, you're able to bring each color back individually. So you can just focus on the skin tones. You can just focus on the black shirt or the red shirt. You can just focus on the sky. It's like literally amazing. So now you, are, I hope y'all are following me. When the cam when you're filming on auto, when you're filming and the camera's guessing and you're filming in those regular modes, the camera is burning that image into it. So when you go back to the editing room and you try to enhance that red, it's already has a vibrant red uh, burnt into the camera. That memory card's already burnt and memory remembered like that as a bright vibrant red. So when you go to enhance it, it's going to start looking distorted. It's going to start looking weird because you're trying to, you know, enhance something that the camera already remembered as something that's bright and vibrant. You feel me? You follow me? But when you tone that down, when you desaturate and take the contrast out and you go back to the editing room, now you can just beef everything up, man. Once I figured that out, it literally, like, I was like, no, this is what they're doing? Comment below if you just figured this out or comment below if you're if like if you recently found this out and it like elevated your game or comment below if you like if you've been doing this like let me know if you've been doing this um, but this is really what's going to elevate your game I promise you if you didn't know this oh man this is this is the this is the cheat code right here this is what the professionals use this is how they film this is how movies are filmed. This is literally how every high quality project is filmed. They're not filming um, with the, they're not filming on auto. They're not letting the lens uh, auto focus. They're not doing that. They have a dedicated focus puller to the side. That's, that's their main job. All their job is to focus on the artist. They have a little knob and they're just keeping the lens in focus. That's their only job, you know? And that, it, it, that it's, it's amazing when you, when you break everything down like that, you know? It, 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 it's amazing. And now you're really going to start, when you start watching movies, you're going to start looking at movies totally different. You're going to start looking at movies totally different because you're going to be like, oh, wow, look at the color. Look how they brought that color and look how that color is enhanced now. And you're going to start noticing it. And then when you get into the editing room, you're going to start noticing how you're able to just uh, edit, sep how you're able to edit everything separately, everything separately from the, the, the skin tones. And that's my favorite thing to work on is getting that rich skin tones. And that's how you're able to really get that natural feel. That's really how you're able to, you know, get that real, that cinematic vibe. You know, that's that film. It almost, it's almost a film feel. You know, it feels like you're watching, like in, you're in the movie, like watching like an uh, old school movie or something like that. But that's what that does. And I highly suggest, I highly recommend everyone do their homework. Everyone go into their camera settings and start looking on how to uh, get those, uh, get your camera on those S logs. I know if you if you shoot with Sony, the S log and the the V the V log. Those are like some of the main ones. I think they even have an L log or something like that. But go into your camera settings and that, that should be, it's under the picture profile, the color uh, profile, picture profile, one of the two. And that's exactly how you do it. Um, I know with the Black Magic, I believe it just has a setting where it just have, has film. But I filmed, I used to shoot with the Samsung NX500 and it didn't have a S log. Uh, option per se, but you were able to change the uh, color profile. And all you have to do when you see, uh, when you're going through the color profile, there should be an option that says custom. Okay. When you go to custom, go over to custom and you'll see, you'll see saturation, contrast, and uh, maybe those two, there might be something else, saturation, contrast, uh, shadows, maybe you're going to turn the saturation down, you're going to turn the contrast down, all right? And I, I, yeah, I think those are uh, the main two, saturation and contrast. You're going to turn those down to where you're, and you're going to notice how
how it starts to look more washed out. Yeah. Whatever you're shooting is going to look more like gray, like it doesn't have too much color in it, but that's what you want. You want it to look gray. So when you go to color, um, you're able to bring the colors back. You're able to bring those skin tones back and you know, you're, you're able to get the, the, the most quality and the most color out of the picture. And that's very important. That's really a cheat code right there. And I hope y'all take that and utilize it. Um, Cause once I figured that out, that really elevated my game and took me way to the next level. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not gonna keep y'all here all day, but if you do want more gems and more jewels like that, continue to follow me right here. Um, and you know, continue to stay uh, enrolled. We got the mentorship program. If you're not already enrolled in the mentorship program, we offer the mentorship program. It's a one-on-one -on -one program where we, we we enhance everything from filming, starting a business, lighting, and everything. Um, and if you're not able to, you know, attend the actual mentorship with me, we offer the course that you're able to download. It's a course that teaches you uh, how to shoot and uh, edit your videos. It doesn't matter if you shoot music videos, uh, documentaries. It doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter if you just do YouTube or you're filming YouTube for your kid or if you just have a business. The way that the day and age is, every entrepreneur, every business needs visuals. Every excuse me, every visual, every uh, business needs uh, visuals. It's very important to have visuals in order to sell your product. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. A video is worth a million words. So it's very important if you want to scale your business to have video, 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 commercials. Uh, how, how are you going to sell your products? You have to have video. So that's why I created that course to really teach people, you know, how to just light. If, you just, if you're selling products, I'm going to teach you on how to light your stuff, what camera to get, what equipment to get to start your podcast, how to start shooting your podcast, how to set everything up. I literally do do it all. So um, it's all in that course. So make sure you guys uh, hit the link below. And if you don't want to enroll in the course, if you hesitant, if you're on the edge, we do the one-on-one -on -one, uh, FaceTime calls uh, or Zoom calls where we just talk about business, tell you how to structure your business. But that's like an accelerated call. But everything, the link's in the uh, below for everything that you want to do. And uh, just continue to just stay focused, move forward, Follow your dreams, uh, man. We're going hard. We turn it up. We 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 making millionaires, and, and that's what it's about, man. Following your dreams, man. So continue. And if you're in the mentorship program, we here. We live. You already know what time it is, and yeah, we out.